Game one goes to Amherst, 15-7 over Bates, and I'm here with Amherst head coach Sean Woods, second season at the helm. And coach, just overall thought on the game. I thought it was a really good game. Two good teams getting after it. It's an in-league game, which is kind of rare for the Mustang Classic. So it was really exciting to sort of get back to league play. Um, I thought both teams were battling. I thought the ground ball play was excellent. I uh, would have liked to see us be a little cleaner in between the lines and on offense. I didn't, th didn't think we actually shot the ball particularly well, even though we got a lot of shots. But overall, a good game. They're a well-coached squad. So I think it was a good game overall. You told me during the week that you guys want to play fast because you have a lot more depth this year than you did last year. And I thought you guys did a good job of doing that today. Yeah, we want to continue to push the pace. I think our depth is definitely one of our strengths. Although we had some injuries along the way here, I do think we're going to continue to play very fast, up-tempo, riding lacrosse. So it's become one of our strengths, and the guys like to play that way. They're having a lot of fun out there. Tanner Krummenacker and Jake Bennett, I believe, combined for seven of the 15 goals today. I know Jake had four. Talk a little bit about Jake and what he was able to do. He's a fiery player. If, if, he, uh, if he gets going, he's tough to stop. We know that from practice. Um, so he's, he's a big physical dodger. He plays with a lot of deception in his game. Um, and then Tanner is just so crafty. He, he's a tough cover, and he and he plays really unselfishly. So those together really combined for a great effort offensively today and really led us. Speaking of great, Mitch Likens in goal. We talked about him during the week. He had some huge saves today, point blank. Yeah, he's been excellent. All three games this year, he's been top notch. I definitely think he's an All-American candidate if he keeps playing like this. He just is an eraser down there, and he's become one of our leaders on, on defense as a sophomore, too. So I'm really pleased with his play. Just like basketball, lacrosse is a game of runs, and I thought that you guys did a great job. Every time Bates scored a goal, you answered with another goal to stop any potential momentum. Yeah, that's huge for us, and I think we talked about it last week against Tufts as well, like answer back, answer back, and that's something that we constantly remind our guys. When they score, it's, we're on to the next play, and I think guys have a really short-term memory when it comes to opponents' goals, which is great. Speaking of short-term, you you have a short turnaround coming up. Everybody does, right? right. All 10. Right. So, the, so the message to your team, what you want to try to accomplish between now and tomorrow flush today and, and get get in the training room you know what I mean let's let's take care of our bodies let's eat right uh, let's get back to the hotel get off your feet um, it's about physical rehabilitation right now two games in, in lacrosse being such a physical you know up-tempo sport especially the way we play you know we've got to recover um, and we'll move on to York tonight in our scouting report meeting at six so does it, a big message does it give you a little preview as to how your team can recover like if and when you make it to the NCAA tournament you'll have to do that there right so does this give you a little window into how you guys can respond yeah that, that's one of the reasons why we love the Mustang Classic. I think it's the best regular season event in lacrosse, but it also gives you a preview of NCAAs because you have to play back to back. So you kind of get used to recovering, get used to moving on to the opponent. The staff gets used to scouting two opponents during the week. So I think overall it gets us all used to NCAA play, which is one of the huge benefits of this tournament. Amherst under Sean Woods wins game one, 15 7 the final. For Sean, I'm Gary Stein. We'll see you next time on GoMustangSports.tv.